Nancy Caroline Griffith was born on July 6, 1953, the youngest of three children. Griffith was born in Seguin, Texas, a small town near San Antonio. Her father, Marlon, was a bookseller. He also sang in barbershop quartets and was a fan of traditional folk music, who introduced Nancy to the music of the 1960s folk revivalist Carolyn Hester. His wife, Rulin Schwatzer, worked as an estate agent. Her parents moved to Austin during her childhood before divorcing in 1960. Griffith described her family as really dysfunctional. And her song, Bad Seed, from the album Intersection, 2012, was addressed to her father and included the lines, Bad seed, there's a darkness I can't hide. Too much pain to keep inside. She learned to play the guitar by watching a PBS TV series hosted by Laura Weber and started to write her own songs. Her first performance was at the Red Lion Club in Austin when she was 12 years old. She listed the songwriter Odetta as one of her key influences and defined herself by saying, you take a whole lot of Woody Guthrie and a whole lot of Loretta Lynn, swoosh it around and it comes out Nancy Griffith. She recalled being strongly affected by seeing her fellow Texan, Towns Van Zandt, perform, singling out his song, Tecumseh Valley, the kind of finely drawn narrative that would become a trademark of her own work. She played in clubs while finishing her academic qualifications and armed with a degree in education from the University of Texas. She became a kindergarten teacher. In 1978, she released her debut album, There's a Light Beyond These Woods on the local Austin label, B.F. Deal. The title song defines some of her essential qualities. It was a haunting and nostalgic saga of two childhood friends pursuing different paths through life and included a reference to a boy called John, who incidentally had been her high school sweetheart and had taken her to the prom, but died in a motorcycle accident soon after. Also, in 1978, she won the new folk competition at the Kierville Folk Festival. She made three more albums for the independent labels Featherbed and Philo, the last of them the Grammy nominated The Last of the True Believers, before moving to Nashville in 1985. Her arrival there coincided with a boom in so-called new country artists, including Steve Earle and Lyle Lovett, though she insisted that she did not belong to that category. She signed a deal with a major label, MCA, for whom she recorded a quartet of albums, including Lone Star State of Mind, 1987, which reached 23 on the U.S. country chart and gave her a country top 40 hit with the title track, and a little love affairs, 1988, which went to 27 on the country chart. Griffith put together her renowned Blue Moon Orchestra, which would accompany her for more than a decade. The album Storms, 1989, and Late Night Grande Hotel, 1991, produced by the rock producer Glenn Johns and Rod Argent and Peter Van Ook, respectively, provoked some criticism from purists for aiming for a more mainstream audience. In 1993, she moved to the Elektra label where she would enjoy her highest profile successes. Other Voices, Other Rooms, 1993, borrowed its title from Truman Capote's first novel and was a collection of songs by writers who had inspired her, including Woody Guthrie, Van Zant, Bob Dylan, Janice Elan, and John Prine, and featured guest appearances by Dylan, Prine, 
Hester, Emmy Lou Harris, and Iris Dement. She won a Grammy Award for this album in 1994. Further success followed with Flyers, 1994, which cracked the top 50 in the U.S. and reached 20 in the U.K., though subsequent releases saw her sales falling away. Griffith suffered health problems. She was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1996 and thyroid cancer in 1998. A case of Dubruntron's contractors caused her to lose flexibility in her fingers. She was married to the Texan singer-songwriter Eric Taylor from 1976 until her divorce in 1982. Taylor had served in Vietnam and in 2000 Griffiths visited Vietnam and Cambodia with the Vietnam Veterans of America Foundation. Vietnam was the subject of several songs on her last Electra album, Clocks Without Hands, 2001 named after a novel by Carson McClurlers. She recorded four more albums, the last of them being Intersection, recorded at her Nashville home with Pete and Maura Kennedy and the percussionist Pat McInerney. Two of its songs, Come On Up Mississippi and Bethlehem Steel, reflected some of Griffith's social and political concerns. Sadly, on August 13, 2021, Nancy Griffith passed away. At the time of this recording, no cause has been given, respecting her wishes for no press releases until after seven days from her death. Okay, that's the end of our video. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you like this type of video and want us to keep producing them, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching.